Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to set up and basically use tcpgecko.net on Firmware's 5.5 or 5.5.1. So with the recent leak of the kernel exploit, it allows us to do a lot. So this is just one of the many things that we can do. So I'm assuming you know what tcpgecko is, so I won't go into details of explaining it. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go into your internet browser. So I'm loading this up. And then we're going to go to this website that I'm about to type in. I was already on it, but just to show you it. Loading.ovh. Just like that. And then you can hit OK. And then it'll bring you to this screen. Let me see if I can zoom in the camera. Okay, so it looks a little better. Okay, so it'll have all of these options. So we're gonna do we're going to do TCP Gecko plus kernel. So then we're going to hit launch or submit, and it'll bring you to this black screen. And this is the screen where it's gaining kernel access. So a small video is going to pop up here, but it's not an actual video. This is an exploit that allows us to gain access to the Wii U's kernel. So next we're going to go right back into the internet browser again. And it'll still be on the same page that we were just on, so we don't have to click anything. And this time it'll say step 2, running TCP Gecko. So now it's done. Now we're done with the part of the Wii U. So I'm going to go to Wii U menu, and I'm going to start up the game that I want to hack. So I'm going to do Mario Kart 8 for this example. And I'm just going to start it up how I normally would. So Mario Kart 8 takes a couple seconds to load, and I'm going to make this video as short as possible. So I'll pause it until it gets to the place I want. So now we're done with the part on the Wii U. So right now you should just know that your Wii U and PC need to be on the same internet connection. Like you can't be using like your neighbor's Wi-Fi on your Wii U and your actual Wi-Fi on your PC. They have to be on the same network. So um, I'll just leave that to I'll just leave that to you and I'll meet you on my PC. Okay, so for the next part of this, you're going to need to get your Wii U's IP using a program called WNetWatcher or any other way that you have. There's going to be multiple ways to do this, but this is just the easiest way in my opinion. So I'm going to launch WNetWatcher, which I will have linked in the description. And it just opened up off screen because I don't want you guys seeing all my like networks and stuff, all my devices. So... We're going to we're going to look for the publisher tab or network adapter company at the top and we're gonna look for one by Nintendo. So here's one for me. So let's we're gonna scroll all the way over to where it says IP address and this is what we wanna copy down. So I'm just gonna put it into a notepad document. Let me just size this up, it's really wide. 192.168.1.1 10 I think it was. Yeah. Okay, so that's our we use IP. Everyone's going to be different and this is a local IP, so no one can like DDoS you or any shit using it. So now we're going to go into tcpgecko.net and we're going to launch the gecko dnet application. So it might take a second or two to load. And here's what it looks like. So here's the tab where we'll enter our we use IP so we can copy this and we can paste it here. So now we're going to click connect to Gecko and we're going to make sure our Wii U is still on and not like in sleep mode or something. Oh yeah, but before we do that we need to disable our antivirus because I don't know about other antiviruses but Avast it blocks it so I'll just show you. So we're going to go to Avast Shield Control and disable for 10 minutes and then select yes if you're performing this intentionally and then it'll be disabled for 10 minutes or something so now we're going to hit connect to gecko and this this message will pop up this means it worked if it says failed to connect to gecko then that means that it didn't work and you probably did something wrong so i'm going to hit continue 
and now we are connected to Gecko. We've got all of the stuff that we need. So I'm just going to do a memory dump just to show you it's working. So we can save it here. Let's save it as dump.bin and then dump. So it's dumping the data. This might take a while for people who have slow internet and slow routers and modems. But mine is pretty fast so it's taking not too long to dump. So um, we'll just wait for this to get done because it'll only be a couple more seconds. And let's go to our documents and see if it dumped. So here it is, dump.bin, it's 8 megabytes. So we can open this up in a hex editor. And so yeah, this is the we use memory from this region to this. So you can also do other stuff like value, like searching for stuff conditional statements and everything so yeah um, this is not part of the video I'm not going to be showing you how to make codes and stuff that's for a different time for now I'm just showing you how to connect to it and how to basic basically do stuff so yeah thank you for watching like subscribe comment for more videos and I'll see you next time